What's up guys, today I'm going to put to the test fire safe portable fire pit by Wolf Grizzly and also the grill. This side here sold separately. Let's see how it works. We'll start on a collapsible fire pit right here. Wow! Once you take off all the paper, it's even smaller. You know, those boxes makes it a little bit bigger. Cool. We don't even need this once we figured out how to use it. But it is self-explanatory. One. Two. Wow, you can even put your fire kit inside of it too. Anyways, looks like this is the edges. No way, is that easy? I can't believe it. And then this unfolds, had to escape to the shade so you guys can see. But there you go. You would stick this edges in, then this edges, and then... Wow, so it's gonna go like that, not perfectly flat. Which is makes sense for the fire, that would be perfect. Very cool, what do you think? And one more time, how easy it is to break it apart. Wow, this is amazing. And put it into your pouch that it came with. Now, what about the grill? Obviously not the biggest fire pit ever. But how easy it is to put it together and break it down, I love it. I guess they could make it bigger in the future. There you go. Obviously, once you open it, it won't be having that paper. It will look like this. Set this up. Looks like one of those folding chairs. Oh wow, you could really adjust it how wide you want to do it. So what you do whenever you unfold it, you rotate this and put it uh, over and secure it into here. And then what you will do is open it and then you have tape position side here. How you can lock it in. One, maybe open it a little bit more on the first position. And it locks in and they're pretty good to where you can lift it up and then this thing right here you can put it to the side, set it over the fire pit. You don't even need that fire pit, you can just set it over any kind of fire. If you want to make it lower, all you have to do is just let's do on the maximum. You might have to take that off first and then fold it way, way higher. So in case you have a hole in the ground and you just want to put it over the hot coals, you can do that as well. But also, let's try to set it on a little bit higher setting. Just adjust it like that. In case the fire burn out and you have a lot of coals, you can get it very close to the ground or one of these things too. Pretty cool grill and a fire pit. Easy to break it down. Once again, to break everything down, let's see how fast it's going to take me. Um, fold this up. And then just fold it up. Put it in the pouch right here. And what about this one? Once again, super, super easy. Now, Let's start the fire and let's see what it's going to look like. Okay, got my fire pit. Going to use the paper it came with for now. And as you can see, you kind of have to use a smaller sticks or really finely chop them up and break them up. The bigger ones later. Okay, now we wait. You can have too big of the logs, but let's put the grill over it. Ah, oh, that smoke went into my eye. Ooh, there you go. This grill kind of holds all the firewood together. I wouldn't go with bigger sticks than that. And after a while we can build up a pretty good flame and coals and cook over this. Okay, that grill actually got super hot, so it's best to take it off. As you can see, the flames are much lower now and the hot coals are lower. So that way I can adjust it and make it closer to the coals so that way it can cook faster. 